What's going on, family? Dane here, Coach Dane, Coach Kelly. We're talking all about front rack and three tips to improve your front rack position. Yes, yeah, so I think number one, we have to understand that, I mean, the, the best way to get better at something is to do it more often. Right. Uh, so being in, how often do we front squat? Not that often, it's like every few cycles, we'll do it for a few weeks at a time. So being in that front rack position more often under heavy load is gonna be number one way to get better at it. Just more exposure in that position. And number two, this is really important, I think people, uh, we often see people with a full grip on the bar. Yeah, go ahead and grab the, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll see, in this front rack here, elbows up, and you're totally wrapped around. I'm able to do it because I practiced this for years, but a lot of people cannot do it. So you need to open, watch your head, Dave. Eh? Yeah. Er, open up your hands. See how this bar is just sitting in the tips of my fingers? This is like, this is so underrated, is having open, open grip where the bar can sit on that shelf. That's right. We just want to maintain that really high elbows, right? We've got to keep this parallel to the floor. And if that drops at any time, we lose that barbell in terms of uh, when the load gets heavy, our wrist can't support it anymore. So we've got to keep it up. And if we use an open grip to do that, it can really help out. Right in your fingertips. The next piece is, you know, things might be tight, right? Because we're never in this shoulder flexion, external rotation position. A lot of the times we're in the exact opposite, right? We're either like, you know, just in here closed, like internally rotated, like it's just not a great position. You know, we're not in this position a lot. So roll stretch load. We're going to use a lacrosse ball. Um, you know, you can use it on the ground, on the wall or whatever, but I'm going to find the spots that are incorporated with the lats, right? And then the, the rotator cuff and kind of getting in here and rolling that tissue to make it more supple, right? Make it a little bit more fluid. Um, from there, after we roll that, we're going to stretch it. There's a couple different ways. I mean, we can take a, a PVC pipe, overhand grip around the world, and then I'm gonna grab underneath and I'm gonna mimic that front rack. I can even squat here. I'm just mimicking that same front rack position one shoulder at a time, right? I'm gonna do the other side, same kind of thing. If we don't have a PVC pipe or maybe you like a different scenario, we can take a band. We just reach through the band grab a hold of it, step your heel onto that band, and then we're gonna go into this front rack, exaggerated front rack position, and feel a nice stretch in through the lat and the triceps here. So roll with the lacrosse ball, stretch with the band or the PVC pipe. And the last thing is, like Kelly said at the beginning, spend time in that front rack position, Loaded. just holding it but we've got to load it, right? Either with the barbell, or maybe I only have a kettlebell at home. I'm just gonna take this and again, get into this front rack position. I can squat here, maintaining this nice uh, parallel elbow. Um, and I can hold this position. I can do carries, yep. you know, walk around. And it's a nice loaded front rack position. So three tips. All right, let's recap. Number one, more time in the front rack. Boom. Number two, open hand. Right. The bar. And number three. Roll, stretch, load. load the tissues associated with the front rack.